Welcome back to London, where interest in the Royals is at a peak right now. And about an hour northwest of here, even a local bakery is finding a way to show love, written right on the loaves. So, um, yeah, we've tried to show our empathy with um, the unfortunate event and also focus on our new monarch. And to break bread with the Royals, only a select few know what that's like. CTV's Adrian Gobriel met the Canadian chef who cooked for the Queen. There's royal insiders, and then there's those who've actually lived on the inside. I'm very proud to say that, you know, my address for two years was Buckingham Palace, London, SW1. Even my driving license said that as well, so it was good, you know, like, how many people can say that? The year was 1980, when a 21-year-old chef by the name of John Higgins entered what felt like another world. To tell you the truth, it was very daunting to start with, you know, you're always very nervous. If the kitchen in the castle wasn't intimidating enough, so were the expectations of perfection. Chef Higgins soon found his stride and found himself traveling alongside the royal family. To Windsor Castle, to Sandringham, to Holyrood Palace, and my favorite was Balmoral Castle. And I must got my true Scott, listen to the S accent. This is not, I don't hire this one. One particular trip to Balmoral remains a cherished memory of his time spent with Queen Elizabeth. What I got to actually do Scottish country dancing with the Queen. You've done Scottish country dancing. With yeah, them. and I'm not, I'm not a good dancer for sure. Just to see the inner sanctum of how the family were and to see possibly away from the, the, the TV and the media, the whole thing, they were natural people. Was Queen Elizabeth a picky eater? No, they, I mean, they knew what they liked. The pickiest in the palace may surprise you. I cooked uh, lots and lots of meals for the, for the Queen and the royal family over the time and the only food I ever got sent back was the food for the corgis. Chef Higgins made the mistake of blending a poached rabbit instead of hand slicing it for the Queen's kindred canines. I thought being a chef, like, you know, put it through the meat grinder, it's the same thing. Needless to say, no, 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 <laughs> set it back. He eventually left the confines of castles and moved to Canada, once spending a week cooking for the Queen Mother, who gifted him these cufflinks. And I'm a big cufflink guy, so they, they, they are pride and joy of me. Chef Higgins looks back at his time curating culinary creations for the Royals as a gift, where he gained an outlook on life he now shares with his students at Toronto's George Brown College and anyone else who's fortunate enough to meet him. Aim for the moon, and if you got to the clouds, it's a long way off the ground. So everything is possible. You just have to think about it and have sheer determination to be successful. And that's, that's life. Adrian Gobriel, CTV News, Toronto.